so many fellow yeah. legends you've met. Yeah, I met them all. Dark Ashby, you know, she she's a legend from Detroit. She played the harp. The only one I know, I like the harp, but I know who she played it, you know. And uh, You met her? Yeah. I, well, I met her in her company because I would go to where she would be playing. I don't remember. I'm sure I said hello to her, that kind of thing. I don't, never had a conversation. I don't recall. And she knew who you were. I'm sure she did, you know. Oh. I'm sure she did. People you don't know you, they know who's selling records. They know downtown, they know they got down there. You straddled both sides, the common people and then the industry people. Yeah, but see, at the Harvard Bar, I would go to the Harvard Bar, it was a jazz bar. I've always did it ever since I've been in the show because I started the store early and then I got into jazz early, listened to jazz early. After I got here, after a couple of years, I was here a couple of years and I got into music business, see. On Sunday, around 2 or 3 o'clock, you go to the Hobby Bar on Linwood. People who like jazz, maybe 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 be in there. I think they had a piano. They play a vending machine, a Seabird they call it. They put 45s on there. You put money in, punch in them. But it was no nothing like but jazz. There would be no rock and roll on there. <laughs> and, um, Exclusive. Kurt Lysy, he was a Detroit, he played here. Different people would play there. They were local group, play up there. I would always go there and listen to jazz. TGLC and down on Grand River. I would go down there and like Quinny Houston, mother, I forget her name. She sang with a group that used to play at TGLC and that kind of thing. And so Con John Kanye, we were different people in a higher group of people hang there, like the jazz people. It wasn't like the rock and roll people. He had a club for that, you see. And so, uh, I met a lot of people like that. You know, I always hung at those places. I'm looking up Whitney Houston's mother. Her name is, uh, I don't want to call her name. Anyway, we went to a wedding together. A guy named you and Whitney Houston? Her mother. You what and her mother? What, 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 what happened is this guy named Robert Walker. Emily wrote, Sissy Drinkard Houston. Sissy Houston, right. You knew Sissy Houston? Yeah. You went on, you went on a date with Sissy Houston? No, not on a date with her. What happened is. <laughs> this guy Explain. <laughs> uh, uh, um, named Robert Walker, he, he was a songwriter, and he had a song on Capitol Record, which is black. He had a song on Capitol Record. And the girl he did, it was from Detroit, I can't think of her name. Yeah. And she sang a Christmas song on the back of the record. Anyway, Robert Walker was with Capitol Record, and he called me. He wanted me to go to a wedding with him. He was a songwriter, and he worked for Capitol Record, I think. He called me, he wanted me... Well, I had been knowing him for a while because I was dealing with him through promoting for him. He wanted me to go to a wedding with him where I go. And I said, yes. I was going to drive. He said, no, let me pick you up. Oh, the three of you. You, yeah. Sissy Houston, and him. And so when he picked me up at my house, Sissy Houston was in the car. And he introduced me to her. And we went to the wedding on out of drive. Right as the curve was out of drive there. That was with me, Houston's mother. Wow. You spent an evening. The three of us went to, it seemed like it was three. I don't think it was four. I know she was in the car. And Robert Walker, so I remember that. I think this is real. He was with her. Whitney was quite young at the time. She wasn't saying that. Like, oh, that was pre-fame for Whitney when you yeah, went out and with... because Sissy used to be sing down at the TLC, I understand. She was with the group because I know the guy that she was singing with, I think, his son. They told me they sang together down on TLC. That's how I met Whitney Houston's mother. But, you know, I never had any contact with her since then. I maybe had a concert or something, I was backstage with her but we did wow. go to the wedding together uh, somebody got married and went to the wedding what was she wearing that night i don't even remember it was a small wedding it was at a house i don't remember who it was i was with them but somebody got married and he wanted me to go and with him and he won't introduce me to sissy houston that's how i remember that what were you wearing that night i don't really remember or, or it the, wasn't a formal thing it wasn't anything formal the car that picked you up do you remember what it looked like no I don't remember. I don't I don't know is Robert Walker picked me up. L E G E N D A R Y L E E C A N A D Y.